Hey guys, my name is Miley and I create miniature outfits for dolls. Today I thought I would go over some tools that I have found really helpful in all of my small scale sewing endeavors. This is stuff that I literally use for everything when I'm sewing doll dresses, when I'm sewing doll skirts, when I'm sewing doll pants, when I'm just sewing everything. I kind of realized that it was actually really hard to find a lot of this stuff online, especially if you have no idea what you're looking for and you're just starting out trying to sew something the size of like my pinky. Anyway, this video isn't sponsored, but I do have Amazon affiliate links for a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about down in the description below. So let's go look at some cool sewing things. So I personally don't like to use pins when sewing my doll outfits. I find that pins can cause slight distortion in the fabric, whereas sewing clips literally just hold the pieces of fabric in place without actually puncturing or distorting the material. I find that clips are the most helpful when I'm making things like socks or attaching the skirt to the bodice. Spray check is super helpful when you're working with really small pieces of fabric as it keeps the fibers from shredding away from the edges. Plus, it makes the edges a little more sturdy when you run them through your sewing machine. Just make sure that before you fray check your actual pattern pieces that you do a scrap test. Fray check generally dries almost invisible, but I have noticed that on some fabrics it can appear milky or slightly discolored. This doesn't really matter too much since you are doing this on the seam allowance, but it's always good to know what something is going to do with the fabric that you're working with. I've also found that it comes out of the bottle a lot more precisely if you just pierce the top of the bottle with a pin. So this is just a more narrow version of your standard everyday straight stitch foot. Your standard straight stitch foot is almost twice the size of the narrow one. It's so much easier to see what you're doing if the sewing machine foot isn't covering your entire project. I hand sew a lot of really tiny buttons and snaps onto my doll outfits, and regular everyday sewing needles will not fit through the buttonholes. However, beading needles will easily go through the tiny button slash snap holes. I personally use tulip size 11 beading needles, and they're super sturdy and easy to sew with. Keep in mind that since the eye hole is so tiny, you're going to need a needle threader to pull the thread through the eye hole. The last thing is just a pair of tweezers. I use them mainly to help readjust my pattern pieces while I'm sewing them together since it's a little hard to do with just your fingers. And that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, then totally feel free to leave them down in the comments below or if you wanna just DM me on Instagram, you can do that too. That's my cat. She says hello. Bye.